uh, if you love love openly that's the name of the story 20 monks and one nun nun meaning the lady monk who was named ashun were practicing meditation with a certain zen master ashun was very pretty uh, even though her head was shaved completely and her dress uh, dress very plain several monks secretly fell in love with her one of them wrote her a love letter insisting upon a private meeting ashun did not reply the following day, day the master gave a lecture to the group meaning of the 20 people and when it was over ashun arose addressing the one who had written her uh, she said if you really love me so much come on and embrace me now that's where the story ends any reflection from any of you very simple story very uh, there is no you know uh, no sort of what you say greater wisdom or something yeah good one so express them there openly express openly yes and uh, beautifully she has used the word not secretly if you really love me come and embrace me now very openly she was saying and this story i have uh, read in some other books uh, uh, with a bit of changes and all i think this would be the original version this i think this, I, this uh, book is more trustworthy um, there were other things like you know they have added master saying something this thing i don't know how far that is reliable uh, if uh, not more any reflection will move to another story Yeah, just a brief reflection maybe so please, please. Uh, embracing openly means hmm. you're showing courage and you're showing yeah. that you're truthful right yeah yeah without courage and without uh, integrity love cannot exist Beautiful. so i think that is what uh, she's trying to yes. say yes thank you and thank you so much the courage love should be backed up with courage and openness of course uh, love it uh, love is very natural in nature which means Uh, it shouldn't be concealed or it shouldn't be what you uh, call you know the real love is it's like how nature loves us it should be not should be again there's no should with love uh, and it is natural and it is evident and it has it uh, it doesn't require any veil or it doesn't require any secrecy so uh, i'll go to another story uh, okay fourth fourth story i'll read it's also a uh, short story obedience let me just see my oh, goodness okay this is also a very light story we can enjoy it easily uh, the story is named obedience the master bankies talks were attended not only by zen students but by persons of all ranks and sects um sect a sect he never quoted sutras nor indulged in any scholastic uh, dissertations instead his words were spoken directly from his heart to the hearts of the listeners his large audience anchored a priest of uh, nichiren sect uh because the adherents had left to hear about zen the self centered nichiren priest came to the temple determined by uh, determined to debate with banki hey zen teacher he called out wait a minute whoever respects you will obey what you say but a man like myself does not respect you can you make me obey you then banki uh, said very calmly come up beside me and i'll show you proudly the priest pushed his way through the crowd to the teacher banki smiled come over to my left side the priest obeyed no banki said uh, we may talk better if you are on the right side step over there the priest proudly stepped over to the right then banki said you see you are obeying me and i think you are very gentle person now sit down and listen 
and this is a story of obedience. Any, anyone would like to share anything on that story? This is very much in line with the first story, uh, Empty Your Cup, the professor who visited. It's close to that. It is more or less, you know, how to discard ego or maybe the, the priest had to probably um, empty his cup or something. I mean, if uh, few of you could speak out, it would be great. Come on, guys. I, I will always have something to say, but I want the other listen to the others. Yeah, if more people speak, it will be better better to learn then. Come on, Manisha. 